The Broken Arrow Police Department is determined to make sure people know how to defend themselves against human trafficking before it's too late. Glad you're with us tonight at 10. I'm Shay Rossi. And I'm Sarah Wadley. Tonight they held a special meeting in Broken Arrow focused on helping parents know the dangers of human trafficking and what they can do to try and protect their children. Fox 23's Alex Cash went to that public forum and is live with information really for every parent. Alex. That's right. The meeting was held here at Central on Main earlier on. Now, this was organized by the Broken Arrow Police Department. I spoke to the chief and he told me that they're not seeing more instances of this here compared to anywhere else. But they say this was all about giving parents information to try to keep children safe. Parents, grandparents and some children turned out to see what the experts say can be done to try to keep kids safe from human trafficking. Officers from the Broken Arrow Police Department alongside officials from Broken Arrow Public Schools and the Demand Project, an organisation which fights child sexual exploitation, spoke at the meeting. They say there's some misinformation when it comes to human trafficking. They say it can happen anywhere and that it looks different in a suburb compared to big cities or what people see in the movies. They say in suburbs like Broken Arrow, criminals are more likely to target kids on social media, Instagram and Snapchat, but also through online games that have chat rooms. They're asking parents to talk to their kids about online safety and say parents should regularly check their children's devices, know their kids' passwords, and also say learning about different apps is important. Brandon Berryhill is the chief of Broken Arrow Police. Everybody in a, in a town like Broken Arrow, it feels like they're in a bubble, but anything can happen in any city. But we did want to make sure we, we had a right context and what happens in New York, LA, it's not the same as what happens here, but we want to be honest with parents and let them know what to look for, uh, how to be more proactive and how to keep their kids safe. Understand what your kids are doing. If you're paying for a cell phone, you need to be going through and you need to have the passwords to get in all their social media apps. Um, if you're not really tech savvy, I suggest you talk to someone that's in that line of work because like I said, you're, you're opening a door to the world and you're not there as the parent. Officers say if parents find anything on their child's phone that is illegal or content or a, a chat, a relationship that they think is inappropriate, they say go to the police department and speak to them about that. And they say they'll work together to combat this. Live in Broken Arrow, covering news that matters. I'm Alex Cash, Fox 23 News. Broken Arrow Public Schools says they've invested more school in more school counselors in their buildings and are looking out for things that might make children more vulnerable to becoming a target like low self-esteem or experiencing a traumatic event.